We're Jack and Gab. For the past few weeks, we've been making our way through Myanmar, with stops in Yangon, Mandalay, and now in Lee Lake. Our first two days here were derailed by a pretty bad bout of food poisoning, but now we're back in action and ready to see one of Myanmar's most beautiful destinations for ourselves. We are feeling just loads better after our food poisoning scare. And so today we are going to be taking the free bikes that our hotel has, biking them down kind of one side of Inley Lake, taking a boat across the lake, and then biking back up. And there's just so much to see in this region. So we're stoked to get going because we have wonderful weather today and I just can't wait to see it. What do you think, babe? You stoked to get exploring again? I am. It's gonna be nice to get out and move. Especially because we're biking 13 kilometers down one way and 13 kilometers up the other way. Get ready, your butt's gonna be sore. Oh, no. Does your bell work? No. All right, switching bikes. Let's ride. It didn't take long for us to bike out of Nyangshui and get into the Shan countryside. It was amazing to see people working in the fields and also just to admire the landscape. We biked past fields, mountains, and hillside pagodas. While the road was pretty much smoothly paved most of the way, there was still some off-roading to be done. Oh man, my sneakers are already wrecked because we had to go off-roading. But off-roading wasn't our only problem. We're making our way up this hill right now, and the air quality here is super bad. So it's just really taking the wind out of us. It feels like every night we can see like these massive fires lit in the area where they're burning like trash because there's no like good waste removal service. So it just, you can taste the smoke in your lungs. And that's why we're walking the bikes up. We're out of shape and we just had food poisoning. So give us a break, people. Finally found the place for the boat to pick up. It's a long ride out here and we're winded, but it's better because we got a good workout in. It was free and it's better for the environment. So glad we did it. Yeah, and we wouldn't end up in this little village otherwise. It's really pretty. I'm hoping the boat price negotiations go smoothly. Yeah. All right, let's get on this boat. Woo. Okay. Well situated. <laughs> Here we go. This is cool. What did the what did sailors say when they set sail? Um, bon voyage. Bon voyage. Chips ahoy. Chips ahoy. <laughs> it's pretty cool that on our way out to the lake we're going to this village with all these houses on stilts. So cool. As soon as we made it out onto the open waters of Inley Lake, we understood why it is such a popular place to visit. Amazing! With endless horizons on two sides and mountains on the other two, it truly was an incredible place to be. It was surprising how clear and shallow the lake was. Since our visit fell during dry season, the average depth was only about five feet. As our boat zipped across the water, we could almost always see the bottom. Off in the distance, we saw fishermen rowing with one foot, boats motoring along, and sights that made us wish our boat was just a little bit slower. This crossing was going by way too fast. Funny, we thought we were gonna be biking for an hour, but it would be okay because we'd be on the boat for like an hour or two. Nah, 20 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, should we walk our bikes down or ride them? Slow ride. Slow ride. I 
loved every second of that boat ride. It was so beautiful from when we started and there was those like houses on stilts to when we were like in the middle of the lake and it was just like wide open expanse. It was amazing. So we paid 15,000 kyat for that boat ride, which is what our front desk hotel guy told us it should be. We think we probably got ripped off because when we told her 15,000, she was like, yes, right away. <laughs> so I don't know if that's just the rate or if we got ripped. It was amazing. It was worth it. It just seemed like a lot for like a, a 20 minute boat ride. Agreed. Especially because we just went one way. But either way, had a great time. So worth it. It was an especially good deal because to do a guided tour like throughout the day is 20 US dollars per person. And we got that boat ride for $10 total. So we definitely saved some money there, even if it cost us a little more than it should have. Budget traveling for the win. Woo. We were biking along and we passed a sign for a vineyard and curiosity took over and now we're heading down this little road because after biking for several hours, I think we've earned it. This wine better be good because this hill is killing me. So we've arrived at the vineyard and we're in the little luncheon area right now. We just ordered some food and then the wine tasting area is just up behind us. And we're probably not gonna do the wine tasting because we've read online that the wine's not very good. And considering we're still recovering from food poisoning, drinking a bunch of wine probably isn't the move, but it is beautiful up here. I mean, it's very, very scenic with the mountains and the beautiful plants and having some lunch up here will be awesome. Also, very nice touch that they have a water station to fill up your water bottles when you get in here because we were parched, so thumbs up to that. It's really good, very fresh. And how is the Indonesian slash Malaysian food? I don't know, let's find out how me goreng in Myanmar is. Very hot, but it's good. A bit on the spicy side, but very tasty. I made a friend. We're back. We're hot and sweating. Our butts are really sore, so we're gonna jump in the shower and relax a little before dinner. Well, it looks like we've lost power. Maybe we'll be dining by candlelight tonight. Or we could dine by the romantic light of an iPhone. <sighs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost getting used to these power outages. Right, it's like pretty routine now. Yeah. And the power's back. It's back. I guess we're not dining by candlelight tonight. No, it was only up for like five or 10 minutes. It only puts a slight hindrance on dinner. How good does that little smoothie bowl look? Yeah, breakfast for dinner is always good, but yeah, we got these fresh fruit smoothie bowls. Looks awesome, I'm gonna dig in. It's really cold, it's really good. Oh, that sounds so nice. It's very refreshing. So I think the way that we saw Inly Lake today was really awesome, especially if you wanna do it kind of eco-friendly and on a budget because we biked all the way there and back um, and it only costs a fraction of the cost of what the tour could have. That being said, we tallied up how far we biked today and it was 18 miles of biking, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. I mean, we're in fairly good shape, but we were winded, especially being in the hot sun. So keep that in mind if that's something you are considering doing. Yeah, and also we love being here out in the countryside, but it has been interesting to see how many fires are burning, whether it's from burning trash or burning fields in preparation for planting more crops. There's a lot of stuff burning here, so the air's pretty smoky and it makes the whole biking 18 miles thing even more difficult. We had the best time exploring Inly Lake today and we hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure that you hit subscribe because tomorrow we are taking the slow train to Kala. This is a train ride that covers the course of a one hour car drive in I think three hour train ride. <laughs> like it's called the slow train for a reason. It'll be painfully slow, but it should be very, very scenic 
and I'm looking forward to it. We have no idea how much it costs. We have no idea what time it actually leaves, but we have rough ideas for both. So stay tuned. It should be very interesting. We're just going to be going with the flow. It's going to be awesome. We will see you next time. Oh, good. That makes me so nervous. Nah. I'm so exhausted. Me too, I need a shower so bad, but I smell like feet. You smell delightful, honey. You're a very nice liar. Thank you.